Roswell Flight Test Crew here at CES 2020 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're talking to our good friend Vernon Kurzweil here at the Extreme Flyers booth. Vernon, how you doing? Very well, thanks. How are you doing, Patrick? I'm doing real well. Now, you guys are working on the Micro Drone 4.0. And in fact, we talked about it last year at CES, but it still hasn't shipped. What's going on? That's right. We had a successful campaign. We hit all our stretch goals and then we started production in March and we had our plan to ship in June, but um, we needed to do some retooling on the, on the model. So we did a few changes to the gimbal, the structure, the body, and um, a lot of really good improvements. We finally have the finished Microdrone 4.0. Here it is. So this is an actual production version off the assembly line. Uh, yeah, well, this is a kind of pre-production. Yeah, we're looking forward to um, shipping in February and March. All right, so you delayed it, but if you made it a better drone, that's a really good reason in my book. So what changes did you make? So one of the really cool things we did was um, we changed the cylinder shape of the gimbal. So uh, on the previous model, we had a cylinder for the gimbal. And um, that um, you know, was a two-axis gimbal. What we did, we found out that, um, you know, that all drones have these little ribbon cables inside the gimbal, and that feeds from the gimbal into the drone. But that's one of the most weakest points of all drones, that every drone that has a gimbal has this sort of weak, inherent weak spot. So what we decided to do, after testing and figuring out what we could do to, to improve on this, we came up with an idea to integrate the camera and the gimbal all in one. So we developed a fully integrated gimbal camera in one, so uh, still two axis, but we've eliminated that ribbon cable. So it makes it much more durable, it eliminates that sort of inherent weak spot that all drones have, and it makes it modular. So actually you can remove the whole gimbal with just a single plug. The key innovation we developed was this tiny gimbal using a brushed micro motor. So this motor uses pulses so that allows you to use a brushed motor, which is normally a brushless motor in a gimbal. So there's a massive, massive cost saving, but also lightweight um, capability. So this gimbal can shoot smooth two axis of stabilization in a brushed motor, which is incredible. Like a, a brushed motor costs less than a dollar, whereas a brushless motor costs more than $8 per unit. The overall shape of the body has changed too from the prototype I saw last year. Yeah. So we added some more structural elements into the, into the body, uh, one of which was uh, motor holders. What we found is that when we were testing the, the units we'd produced, if you were to crash it too many times, sometimes the tolerances were slightly out. So if, if that moved ever so slightly, then that could cause some resistance in the drivetrain. And that's something we just didn't want to have on the final production model. So in order to improve the quality and improve the longevity of the product, we designed this little enclosure where it includes the motor, the shaft, the propellers and the gears all in one. And we then strengthened that with, a, with two ball bearings, proper ball bearings, not brush, little brushes. And then have, um, we have one on the top, one on the bottom. And that's a single modular piece. So that clips on to the arm. And that added a little bit more weight. That meant we had to slightly increase the, the size of the arms. But to the advantage of that is to get much more durability and much more reliability, and it makes it easy to maintain if you were to you know, need parts in the future. And as you can see, it's a very robust. This arm is solid. Let's remind people why everyone was so excited about this thing in the first place. What does it cost? So this is a $200 drone, so less than $200. That gives you autonomous flight, it gives you a two-axis stabilization, and a 1080p live, um, live streaming and SD card onboard storage. So Vernon, who did you have in mind when you designed this drone? Yeah. So for years, people have been looking at the drones as like something they want to get. And um, for many people who've never flown a drone, they've kind of seen these amazing drone footage that you can get from big professional drones. And then they've seen the sort of toy drones which you see for like 50 bucks. And then um, they buy these little small toy drones thinking they can get really good footage from those professional drones. They just can't. We, we thought we could make all that technology into a small palm-sized drone. So we took those key technologies, autonomous flight, gimbal stabilization, and then we made this drone. So it kind of really is fitting, fitting between the toy market and the professional level. So people don't want to have to spend the sort of like 400 to 600 to $800 for those big drones. They're not really satisfied with those sort of 100 buck drones. And um, this really nicely fits in between those toy category and, and, um, and professional drones. Outstanding. Well, Vernon, thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah, thank you, Patrick. Yeah, really good to see you again. Absolutely. And from CES 2020 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, there it is, Micro Rowan 2.0. Fly safe. Take care. Thanks again, Vernon. Thank you. Cheers, man.